right, Hill boys and girls, it's time for another Jeep Talk Show interview. And tonight we're going to be talking with Chris. Chris has been running in Jeep since he was one years old. I think he was told that he was doing it at one years old because I know he doesn't remember. Uh, and that affinity of uh, being in the open top, uh, in uh, the G tops, he got, got the G tops going in 2007. So that openness made him want to start G tops. So think of G tops as not the letter G, but like J E E. Uh, like the first three letters of Jeep, hint, hint, nudge, nudge, wink, wink, uh, G-Tops going uh, in 2007. Uh, so you can go over to gtops.com right now. Chris, thanks for coming back. We had you on episode 689 uh, the first time that you were here on the show. This is your your second time, and uh, that was back on October of 2022. That was, I mean, the, the pandemic was going on then. I'm, I'm glad you survived. <laughs> yeah, I survived. All right. It's interesting. I didn't get I uh, didn't get a rendition of COVID till after. Oh, it was did you get it? How bad was it? Was it? Uh, did it uh, hit you hard? It, 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 no, it, you know you you you're astounded at, at how can uh, congested your mm-hmm. chest can get. I mean, I at least in my case it was, and we uh, and uh, the, just the the dry the dry hacking, hoping that something <laughs> please something, something come out, yeah, alleviate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, but um, no, I didn't. Didn't end up in the hospital with tubes stuck down my. Uh, good, that's my good. Uh, um, and I, I don't mean well. to make light of the the pandemic. The, the, a lot of people uh, uh, died from that. Uh, but as I've said before, uh, I mean, when it first first was starting, uh, it was an unknown. Uh, but I think that after about the first three months, it was like, well, this isn't as bad as what they were talking about. Uh, we could have uh, not been home working. Uh, only and not going into the office and all this shutdown stuff. So, uh, but uh, you know, hindsight's always twenty twenty. No, I, I I've got my uh, my parents. Uh, my mother's eighty six, and um, I've watched them uh, through two two bouts mm. of it. Now, um, and you know, the older people they can yeah. They can, the, the, uh, those but, are the ones that needed to, that would needed to make sure that they were uh, they were protected. Uh, older people, people that with uh, yeah. compromised immune systems, uh, which could be the elderly. So yeah, I mean, absolutely, it was just a much smaller group of people. Uh, not that uh, young people didn't die, but uh, far less. I mean, it, it's it was like a bad flu. Uh, anyway, a more exciting topic yeah. is uh, is jeeps now. You were in a jeep at one years old. Do you remember what jeep that was? And I know you don't remember when you were in there, but I'm sure you were told. It was a, uh, a 1958. Well, I, I, I was on probably in the 42. Also, we had, we had a couple of them up in my um, my grandfather's property in northern Wisconsin. Um, uh, I, I don't want to sound eccentric, but uh, we had about 2,600 acres up there, right next to our cousins that got about 6,000 acres, which is right next to the 12,000 acres of Notre Dame, you know, the Jesuits. And uh, on my grandfather's property, we had a, a caretaker that that all all he spent his time doing was uh, with a big D9 and and a grader and the whole bit and, and making my jeep trails. Goodness. So the, the the place was honeycomb with jeep trails um and they uh we my my grandfather had a lot to do with uh grouse uh prairie chickens um they, they uh, i can't remember the latin thing it was timpanucus something and another and, and everything and they, they they it was an association of a bunch of uh, neat old guys from milwaukee that um were in the in the dairy and the brewing industry and you know buying up land all around mm-hmm. the United States, it, you know, the prairie chickens out, out west and down south or the, the grouse up in the, in the northern, in the, in the wooded areas. But we used to drive around. I remember uh, there was nothing like coming upon a cubby of, cubby of grouse, and, and the, the, they, they are fast, and they make the, the, the jumping out of the Jeep with, you know, your shotgun and, and seeing what you can take, take out. And, um, I was They're just going to ask: big. Were they were they sizable enough to actually uh, waste your time cleaning and eating? Oh yeah, they they all are. But I mean, but they but and they're phenomenal. But they'd have the, to be. They're uh, <laughs> they're, they're a lot like a <laughs> well, they're much much more feathered than a a, a uh, 
what am I thinking here? Well, I know uh, that the, the, the down here in, in Southeast Texas, we do little, dove hunting, and doves little, are really small. And the same thing with doves. You, you know, you get enough of them, and they're they're mm-hmm. damn good. But um, yeah, that's that's how I I, I Gee, started. That sounds off like and, heaven. And we, uh, oh, why aren't you out there now we, instead of uh, putting tops and uh, clear clear tops on jeeps? <laughs> I got to, I got to, I got to earn my druthers, you know, I had, had, is the, is the property, is the property still in the family though? Oh, that's not. Oh yeah. 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 The, the RARs, my, my cousins, the RARs, they've, they've, they've gone through some issues, but, um, um, my uncle Guido RAR, that was one of the things, one of the last things I remember that my, my grandfather and he did, they took a hundred acres and they, they fenced it in with chain link fence you know, 12 foot high. And they, um, my uncle Guido, he, he was a pretty wild hunting bastard. Um, rar malting. It's, 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 I think it's still one of the largest malters in the, in the world, but they, he brought over a whole bunch of German stag, like, like 50 head and, and oh, put them And this is Wisconsin DNR. Would never, ever let do anything like this now, but they, they did this back in way back in the, in the fifties. And, um, the, I remember riding in, in, with Mike, my, my father in, in the, in the big, it, we, we were supposed to be talking about Jeeps. The, 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 we, he had a, it was a version that they, they sent over to Australia a lot. Um, because my, our family had a lot to do with Kenosha where, you know, the Kaiser mm-hmm, right. Jeep and every, in all the manufacturing way back in the day. So this thing was, uh, it was, it was a long version, it, it, real, real long, um, so it had it had like a, a a big seat in the back, and then it had like a jump seat facing the, the 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 other way. So when all the grandkids got in this thing, it was it was pretty and, cool. And no cool seat belts, right? It, 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 <laughs> no, I actually actually it did have seat belts, but that was probably due to my grandmother who was super <laughs> super anal about, oh, that's about all that. <laughs> um, she, she, I remember I, I used to ride in my aunt's uh, Volkswagen Bug, and and um, my grandmother made her put seatbelt it was a it was a, a bug but the, uh, bu- volkswagens didn't have seatbelts oh, in, yeah, in the, no, in the bugs in the very beginning and, and made made her put uh you know because the grandkids but yeah there was nothing like riding in that jeep going going by that that because the there was ro- there was trail all around or all around that property but you know german stag you know they stand a couple hands higher than than a uh, a regular uh, white-tailed right. buck you know a, it, and um uh, they'd charge the fence and and they'd well they're german of course and get their, <laughs> <laughs> get their, <laughs> that's good i like that but getting the racks and everything but the funny part was was at, in in latter years the 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 interest in it came out and they got holes you know the fence and a lot of them escaped and eventually they all they all got out and and there has been a lot of of inbreeding so to speak up that way and every once in a while up in land lakes wisconsin up around there you'll hear a, a, or about a hunter someone who took down and you know during the hunting season or saw um at one point you know this ginormous you know where they couldn't explain it these mm-hmm. ginormous uh deer with with these ginormous racks on them and w- well, what it is is you know the, the gene pools a little mixed up because of these german stags that that they had brought over it, and but, but yeah, I mean, I can remember uh, riding the Jeep and, and my, my father always used to put a uh, shoulder holster with a, with a 40, right. you know, 45, 911 9, 9, and, and, uh, and, and when those damn deer were, were smashing into the fence and, and making these, the, the rutting sounds and the whole bit, um, I was kind of glad that my dad oh, yeah, was carrying no, a sidearm. I mean, I, I can't believe that people go uh, uh, hiking and uh, camping and stuff in uh, bear country, uh, you know, uh, without yeah. a, a nice large weapon. I mean, you, you may still go get get killed, but at least you can go uh, go fighting, right? Right. Yeah. yeah. So riding around in jeeps, that was it, so it's so more than anything. It, it uh, that that's where the well, you, you really had in. no choice. You had to have Jeeps in the rest of your life because it started out that way. Such great memories uh, of doing all these things. Well, I, I, I still miss the, uh, the, uh, the seat. We had a CJ5 with a, uh, with a Buick V6 in it. And that damn thing, I, I remember plowing because we had a, um, a farm down here that, that was 
a pretty neat gentleman's farm. And, and I, I, at the tender age of 12, 13, I was, you know, I had to plow, plow the drive, you know, all the driveway and mm -hmm. plow everything. And, and it was, it was a long driveway going in. And that's back in the days when we used to get a lot of snow and a lot of cold here. Um, but that, that damn, that, that CJ five, I, I could, that damn thing, you, I could take it through four or five feet of snow and it would, it would gallop, yeah. you know, gallop through it. it. It had the old, the old narrow, um, more military tire on them and, and, and those things, it, it would just. Well, back in those tear, days, tear uh, off road tires uh, didn't even exist. You, if you wanted something big and off road, yeah. it was probably from a, for a tractor or something. Yeah. Well, well th th I think, I think what my father had put on it the second time around were probably some st studded, right. you know, good old studded yeah. winter tires. But, but yeah, that, that thing, I remember going through some really deep stuff with that when I was in, and it would, it would literally, it would just, it would gallop. It would it'd start rebounding and then it, it'd get a little further well, and a little. The important know, thing keep, is it kept going. moving. It wouldn't stop. That's the big thing. Yeah. So yeah. uh, certainly a lot yeah. of uh, Jeep history in your past, um, and uh, the the G tops uh, you got going in, in 2007. Now I don't know. Uh, I remember last time uh, we talked about uh, other companies doing similar, and I'll I'll put a quotes around the similar thing because it's not exactly like what you guys do. Um, and uh, I think we talked about clear lids in the past, and you really clued yeah. me in and our listeners in on some things that. I hadn't even considered. I think you, you, your term that you used, if I'm remembering right, was uh, the multiple sun effect, because <laughs> you just with all the little ridges yeah. and stuff in there, you didn't have a clear view out. It was uh, it was a distorted view. Yeah, I mean all the gussets. I mean that that that's a uh, that's an issue. I mean, and, and then when you're molding and and it you, you it's there's a hell of a lot of distortion going on. You you can't you can't uh, you could mold mold well. It, no, you still well, it's wouldn't curved, be able to. So it, it's it, something, it, you're going to have it, some distortion there. You you could you could build tooling to uh, in, inject injection mold those, but even at that point, there's still going to be significant distortion at all the all the ridges just from the way the light light re refract refracts mm -hmm. through. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, I don't I don't want to I don't want to. I don't want to bash. Well, well this isn't this bash isn't bashing. Them. This is just something you need to consider yeah. before you go out and get something. Oh well, no, it's, it's 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 pure objectivity. I mean, <clears throat> what's interesting now is when you start reading all the reviews, all this all this has come full circle. I mean, now now um, now everybody's well aware that that they're horribly. Loud. Oh, I didn't know that. You, you've stretched. Oh yeah, you've stretched a drum head over your front. <laughs> that cabin. makes yeah, I mean, that makes sense. <laughs> I mean that, that's that's what you've done. You've stretched the drum head over the front cabin. You got to remember that the um, yeah, well, the, there's there's a hell of a lot of insulating value with with the standard yeah. Freedom Top. I mean, you know, there because you have an inner and an outer. The big advantage that we have is when we put when we put our panels in um, because it's a ten times denser material. Uh, probably actually closer to twenty. I never really did some calcs on it, but. Um, and then you've got the the fact that it's encapsulated into the tops of the bomb grade structural RTB silicone. Um, there's a damp there's a dampening effect just from taking the harmonic out of the top from the from the road vibration going up through the top. Uh, but then you've got you've got this denser material. So as far as you know, transferring noise and I mean that we we actually lower the, lower the decibel level with what we do. So. Um, in that respect, it's it's uh, it, it works pretty slick. Um, so descri describe uh, to the folks. Uh, the, I'm remembering this from the last time we talked, but we I'm sure we have some people that are new all the time that have not uh, not aware of your product and don't understand what it is. Uh, if if people don't know, the clear lids is a like a plastic uh, cover that goes all the way across uh, the replaces the two freedom tops. Uh, on your on your Jeep, and you now you have this uh, this clear uh, plexiglass or Lexan or whatever the hell it is, uh, kind of a, a, a brownish, um, you know. So it's just not uh, completely clear. And uh, the, the yours differ because you actually use the Freedom Tops to put the the, the clear panel in, and that of course that's what you were right. just describing. 
So uh, let people no, let, but, to under, to get people to understand exactly what we're talking about here for your product. Yeah, it well it, the, the name G, G tops, T tops. I'm dating myself, but in the day we used to do a lot of cars and concepts and Hearst Hatch T tops back when I first was cutting my teeth mm-hmm. in the sunroof world. Um, but the uh, you know we're op- it's optically correct too, which is extremely important. You know, you're not going to have something over your head that um, well you could. I mean. But the, uh, the the view is very important. Well, that's the so, reason why you're doing um, yeah, it, I would think, is so you can see out, out. <laughs> clearly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The other interesting thing is the, is the choice of materials. Um, we're, we're using an M, a T2 impact modified acrylic at a 65% mix, which um, which that here. Hang on a second. I think I, I'm at home, and, and everybody's forgetting that I'm on a. On a show here. <laughs> hey, try to do something here. Yeah, um, uh, we have a dog, and she'll start bark or barking sometimes, and I have to, I have to pause the show. Yeah, <laughs> but you know what you're gonna do? The dog's gonna make noise. <laughs> yeah. No, they they always yeah. they always will. But um, yeah. So it's a, it's a it, it's T two impact modified. It's, it's a, at a sixty five percent mix. So it. it oh, um, I like the lighting better here. It, this is a good place to move to. <laughs> yeah, okay. Good. It's un, it's unbreakable, so um, or I should say it's yeah, virtually that's, unbreakable. Yeah, that's safer. Now, <laughs> but, but, but you got to remember, um, plexiglass was invented by Roman Haas in 1939, and it's gone through some some you know uh, improvements so, yeah. chemically. But it um, but it was designed to be out in the weather and out in the UV rays. That that, that material doesn't chalk. It doesn't. You know, chalking is right. oxidizing and whatnot. It, it will, it will, um, depending on what you put on it, but it, it's infinitely refreshable. You can, you can always buff it back, but what's, but it, and it'll stay buffed back until you degrade it in, uh, again. But um, I'm always amused by these other guys with the multiple suns going over your head. They're using a polycarbonate, and a, and a polycarbonate is not, um, it's okay in your headlight lenses when they when they start to go to hell you have to remember they're at a at a 30 degree angle at at, at most um and and it's all about uv hitting right. hitting that that plastic and what's protecting that particular plastic is a coating because a, a polycarbonate you can't put any tinting within the material because then it compromises the chemical you, you, it won't be a polycarbonate right. then. So that's why when they, they extrude it, make it, and, and they, they, then they coat it, and, and that's where the, the tinting is. So it's, it's just like a, a, a tinted sunroof, tempered sunroof glass, um, where it's reflecting and refracting the, the, uh, the light. And I just got to close the door even. So it, it, it's... Um, it's uh, when it's re- refracting, um, you know, which is breaking up the light. Um, in, in the case of our material, it's reflecting and then it's filtering. So the the the, um, the 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 ambient light coming into the into the cabin is much softer. It doesn't have that squinty feeling. Um, so it. it there, there, a lot of thought went into into what we were doing, how we, how mm-hmm. we were going to do it. The, the material is the exact same material, comes off the exact same line as the F-16 jet canopy. It's used in Sikorsky's uh, a- applications and their and the helicopters, you know, in the side windows and whatnot. Um, all your all your aerobatic planes, any of the the bubbled aerobatic planes, or any of the the bush planes, any of the planes that are going in the outback, you know, Alaska or whatnot. You see the bubbled windows and, and whatever. That's 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 the impact modified T2 plexi. And and the, the, when I say at a 65% mix, that's the same. That's also the durometer, the hardness of it. And and at that mix, it's it's how much of the elastomeric add additive is in the mm-hmm. in the plastic. Uh, if you're uh, in layman's term, it's it, it, if you if you take a microscope and you look look at this material, um, it looks like tiny bits of of it's basically tiny bits of rubber. Oh, that's and interesting. That's what, that's what makes 
That's what makes it a, mm-hmm. a last Americ. And um, yeah, if you, you you can break it, but um, it's made to flex before it, it breaks. Oh yeah, it, it's made to it's 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 just shy mm-hmm. of unbreakable. Let, let's put it that way. And uh, but but you know then you got to remember operating temperatures too. We get people asking about that all the time. Um, you know this. The, you know, when an F-16 jet is up at 40, 60,000 feet, it's pretty no, freaking cool. cold up there. So it has, everything is in, in operating temperature, you know. So it, it's got a, a constant operating temperature of minus 45, and it's got a high of 180. So um, it, it, it meets, meets all the requirements of, of what's, you know, what somebody in their Jeep is going to be. Oh, and, and then some, then again, yes. I mean, yeah, this well, would sounds like this would even work well in the California fires whenever you're fleeing for your life. <laughs> and you get a good view. <laughs> yeah, no, it, it, has get, it has to get pretty, pretty, pretty hot to, uh, the, the stuff won't burn. It, it, it'll, it'll smolder, right. but yeah, you, you can, you can bring it up to like 400 and well, at about 525 is when it starts. And this is in Fahrenheit, smoking. right? Not Celsius. Yeah. So yeah. th- this is a good segue into one of the things that I think a lot of people are concerned about uh, having to do with uh, clear tops and letting the heat in uh, from the sun. They think, oh, my God, this is just going to, yeah, it's fun cl- looking out, but it's going to be hot. I'm going to get hot and sweaty. Uh, but as I recall, it, that's not the case with your tops. You, you guys actually, uh, what is it? I think you told me that it was actually cooler uh, with uh, with the insert that you guys put in there, then the Freedom Top itself. And if, if people don't understand, in, this is taking uh, Freedom Tops and putting a clear panel in top of them, and including uh, the, the back uh, part of the top as well. It doesn't just have to be the, the front tops, but you can do all three. In, nor- in normal temperatures, um, we actually lower lower the, the, the heat neat. in the cabin. Yeah, that's what I remember um, you saying. Part of it, part of it's because of um, the material doesn't really conduct heat and doesn't transfer the heat. Way back when we started this, um, when I had salespeople like running around the country seeing dealers, because we were primarily going right through new new Jeep dealers. And one of the most amusing things um, was down in Florida. One of my salesmen was down there, and he, and he, he, I don't know, he usually hit seven or eight dealerships in a day. And I remember the first day that he was down. Um, and I think he was in the Sarasota area because he had family there. <laughs> and so he's, he's trying to mix it up a little bit, but he calls me up and he says, Chris, you're not going to believe this. I go, what Peter? He, he goes, I pull up and, and I get an audience like unbelievable. All the, all the salespeople come out and, and, and what's interesting at, at, with the dealership thing, there's usually one golden boy, you know, the one, the one sales, the, the one hot shot. And he usually leads the pack and, and of course, uh, Peter's standing there, and and this salesman who's kind of, you know everybody everybody in the in the gang is kind of looking to this guy, and he's you know going to scrutinize the hell out of out of and, and back then we I think that he was driving a it was a, a brand new Rubicon which at the time in, in blue which was really hard to get, and um, you know so we you know you kind of got him there so they're going like how did how did these guys get get this unit and that kind of thing you know because we were leasing like three of them at the same time all all the time so and we know a lot of dealerships so anyway the the uh, the, the salesman he, he you know opened up you know I got to see these things and he and he leans in and he takes his hand doesn't get in it he, but he leans in and he takes his hand and he sticks his hand up on the glass and then he he kind of rolls his eyes a little bit and looks over at the guys and goes, it's not hot. <laughs> you know, this, you know this, this is down in the floor and, and you're, you're trying to explain, yeah, because this material, it's the properties of the material, you know, even with the sun energy on it and whatnot, it just does not, you know, yes, it heats up a little bit, but nowhere near like, like your, your, uh, your freedom top. Um, and, uh, you know, so that you, you, you know, you come, come overcome all these. Arguments oh yeah. I mean, this, you know, but, this is the it, stuff people have, uh, have gone through. So obviously this is going to be an issue. And if you're trying to come up with a reason not to get this product or, the, or there's a problem with it, that's one of the things that you would, uh, that you would uh, go for. And, and as I recall, you guys actually sell a, a shade, or at least the last time we spoke, it was like a shade or something you could put in there. Was it, was it a Tesla, a shade we, that you guys were, were selling? We, 
we say Tesla shades because we get them from the same oh, okay. place. They, same place. See, I was hoping, Tesla. I was hoping for it's, Elon it's a, Musk hookup here. I was hoping you, you knew Elon and you could get me yeah. in. <laughs> well, I've never, I've never, I've never, uh, uh, I haven't even run into, and I've got some interesting friends, but I haven't run into anybody yet that knows them. But, um, but no, we, we go to the same, same supplier right. to Tesla, um, for the shades and, and the, in China, which I usually wouldn't, but, I, but, but it was a friend of a friend kind of thing. And that's the, and knows the owner and, and, um, of this, and, and they do phenomenal work. I mean, I've tried to source stuff mm-hmm. here in the States and, and it, it just does not begin to compare, you know, the, the, the sewing and, and let alone the material. Um, and if you get in a, and if you get a new Tesla and, and, and look at the, at the fabric, the fabric sunshade, it, it, it's identical. It, it's this exact you get from the exact same place. And, and these guys, they do a hell of a job. I mean, it's just, it's just real quality. I mean, it's beautiful, beautiful sewing and the, and the, it's, it's a, there's spring steel wire in the, in the, in the mm-hmm. perimeter of it. And so you can take it. Um, well, the front, the front sets on the JLs and the JTs, let alone the JKs are, are small enough where, you know, you can just throw them underneath the seat or whatnot if you, if you're not using them. Um, but they, but the, the big, for the big panoramic in the rear, um, you can, you can take it and you grab the, each opposing side and you twist it and you pop it and, and it'll, all of a sudden it'll, it'll, Pull into it. Actually, almost looks like a heart right. shape when when it folds up on, upon itself, um, as far as storage goes. But um, so so if you were, I guess, yeah, if I you mean, were trying to sleep well, as you were on a long cross country trip, not the driver but the passenger, <laughs> or maybe the people in the back, you could get one of these shades, and that would help knock. I mean, you, you can still see through the shades, right? They're not opaque. Through it, but it knocks right. it knocks things down so, considerably. And, and these there's, are there's, things that you can right. add to the order. They, they they don't come with the tops, correct? Yeah, we, we sell them right. out cart really because, uh, and and we got to remember we sell these things into some of the hottest places in the world, and it never ceases to amaze me. Like we just sent a set out to um, uh, United Emir- uh, Emirates uh, and you right. know, Saudi. I mean, and uh, and. Uh, I always say, do you, do you want the shade? And the guy goes, no, no, no. I had, a, I have a buddy that also got. That's why I heard about him. And and you don't need shade with these. And I'm thinking, you're freaking, you're you're in camel mm-hmm. land. I mean, the, 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 when the sun blasts and oh, it's, yeah. it's, it's blasting, and he says, no. Nah. Uh, we saw them all apart because and and it, it, there again, it's just like anybody. I mean, you you run into some people think something's so hot, and some people you can take the same person another person and well it's a dry heat not, you know not, it's, it's three thousand degrees but it's dry so it's okay <laughs> so the, so the, yeah. you, you have the shades oh and also too we didn't mention that the uh the the material that you have for the the the, the clear tops uh it has a, a tint to it correct well that that that's uh, i didn't elaborate yeah your polycarbonates and whatnot the, 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 there's a the tint is a coating that's on them and that when that starts degrading because of the uv rays and whatnot that's that's why your that's why your headlight lenses right. end up going to hell because the it's the first thing to wear off and then and then you, that you will you will be buffing them every every month to if you get one of those repair kits that thinking that it's because it's cloudy and you're going to fix it it that, that once once that coating's gone you're going to be rebuffing them all the time because there's no UV inhibitors in that material. It's not really designed to be in the. Now, in the case of this T2 Impact Modified, the the tinting is within the material and the UV inhibitors. It's within the material, so you're getting um, filtering when when um, and and it's about two shades uh, darker than the privacy glass in the in the in the. Oh, okay, the top. And, and we're talking about you know, your product yeah. the, the right now. It, yeah, the, the way I, yours is set up. Yeah. Okay. I jump around. I no, that's all right. I, I mean, that's part of my job is to keep it clear for the for the listeners because I want them to. I mean, when we first talked, uh, I was like, "Good God, these things are expensive, and I have to be without my tops. What am I supposed to do? Throw a tor- tarp over my Jeep and drive it without tops?" And and I was just ne- uh, negative wow. Nelly about this. And of course, I went into it with an open mind, asked you some questions, and I found out that you have answers for all this stuff. Uh, and, uh, oh, we, we've, um, we send out, yeah, loads. I was I really mean, surprised because I can see you not getting those back. <laughs> well, 
there again, though, what, what I was alluding to before we went on air, I mean, 99.9% .9 of our customers are absolutely mm -hmm. wonderful and, and they've got great common sense and, and they're, um, every once in a while we run into somebody that, you know, you, well, a few weeks ago, I had a guy going like, would you please put the, the return tags right in there? You, you've been running around with your tops for a week. How do you like them? Oh God, I love them. I love them. Like, well, can you get our loaners to oh, get shipping. in the box? Shipping or, is such oh, a pain in the box. ass. <laughs> FedEx and, and and drop them off so they get back to us because there's somebody else yeah. waiting for those. Yeah. So you you guys we will actually send out loaners yeah. and then uh you, yeah we have uh, I guess do you send out the loaners before they send their their tops in? Well, no. Well, yeah. No, we send we send the when they do the order if they request loaners. The, oh, they the you, they use the box the that the loaners come in, right? Yeah, that makes yeah, sense. Yeah, they they open it up. Box is a brick. Yeah, brick well, it would have to be I mean, because not it, only do you do the, the I mean, right. I, the freedom panels are, are are still pretty massive and pretty pretty heavy, but the 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 back the 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 rest of the top because you, you guys do what you refer to as the panoramic for the back. So you guys, yeah. I mean, and, and it's yeah. your choice. You don't have to do uh, all three panels uh, or the top and the two panels, but you can do all three of them if you want to. So you guys will ship out loaner tops. As well as freedom tops, because people gotta gotta use their jeep. Yeah, the, the, one of the questions that we always get is, well, am, am I going to get a, a set with the? We only have a few sets that we're actually circulating that actually are are processed or mm -hmm. or, or converted. Um, but yeah, no, they'll, they'll get a usually a a, a semi used. Depending whether it's a JK or whatever you have, we'll send out the the loaner front sets. They'll arrive. You open up the box, um, you pull them out, put them on, and put yours back in. There's instructions and how to do it and all that, and, and um, how to how to load them. But they uh, and the return tag is right in the box. We do it a lot like Apple. If you've ever had an, an Apple computer and you needed a repair, that's how Apple. I mean, that's where actually where I got the idea way back when Apple had a real slick way of doing it. You. If you needed your computer repaired, the box would come to you. The return tags right in it. You put put the computer in the box. It's designed for them, and and that that, that was one of the other aspects to it. You know, making sure it, it, they're easily loaded. You know, so nobody can um, right. screw it up. Um, you know, it's, well, of course they can, but it's less likely. Yeah. <laughs> it's less likely. And, but, you know, you're we we do an awful. I mean, we do. A lot of the standard black spatter texture, but then again, we we also do tons of the body painted. And, and you know, when you got a front set of body painted tops, and it, let's say, and the Mopar just had a, another Mopar parts just had another price hike. Um, people are sending into us uh, basically a, a three thousand dollar set of right. front set of tops. I mean, if you went through it through the dealer parts department, and then you've got a you can't buy them. Uh, Painted, they you know you you got to. It's a lot of messing around these days if you if you mess up oh, your yeah. tops. So and and, uh, and it's easy to do uh, too when you're taking those uh, freedom panels off because now they're mobile and they could be scratched or uh, damaged in some way. So uh, regardless of uh, of the of the, the G top panels, just the the freedom tops by themselves, and they're not cheap. Um, so let me make, let me make yeah. sure I understand the process. So if you have a JK, a JL, or a JT. Because you got you guys do gladiators as well, um, and, and and you want uh, either the freedom panel tops. Do you ever ha have anybody that ever just wants the back, uh, the, the 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 main top with the the insert? Because I'm thinking that that it's going to be the freedom tops first, and then that. I mean, they may be all three together, but I would think the the main uh, the main thing is going to be the the tops or the front. One of my favorite stories is of a little old lady who was up in Vermont who wanted to get a rear. And I always seem to want to coddle people and figure out yeah. why and what have you. And I, and I said to her, well, ma'am, do you have, she did not want front set. She just wanted the rear. And I said, ma'am, do you have, do you have grandkids? So, you know, cause I could tell she was old. So I kind of already stepped over it. <laughs> Oh no no no! I said, "Well, can I ask? I, I mean, you, you only want the rear. Are you doing? Why don't you get the fronts too? Because you're going to be missing out. Yeah. No no. 
what, what uh, so ma'am who, who, you don't have grand who, who why do you want to put a rear end and that's just it and she says for my ah, dog ah that's neat <laughs> that, that, that's, the, that's yeah. the lucky dog but I, I was, so I'm, I'm envisioning this this neat old gal who's probably up on on a mountainside in Vermont that that doesn't have grandchildren but she's got her favorite old hound dog and 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 the old hound dogs in the back and she wants to make sure that the hound dog uh, has has the light and the view coming in probably he likes to stare up at the trees and oh, go after the school absolutely or, lucky dog or, so okay so you decide you uh, have your vehicle it's either a jk a jl uh jlu it doesn't matter if it's a two-door or four-door uh and uh you, you want the nope. you want the front or you want the back or you want all all three and then that's right. That's that's all of it, right? The freedom tops and the main top is all is all that you do, right? Yeah. Right, so uh, right. uh, make sure you didn't come out with something else, like Uncle. a whole co- completely clear back top or something. <laughs> well, we well, well we've I mean we're talking to the Jeep show, but we, we we tooled up for the for the Bronco. Um, you know we're we're almost done with the tooling for doing the Bronco. Um, which ironic, and, and I and I, I want to throw oh, sure. that in there. I, I'm one of the oldest. No, I'm one of the oldest Wabasco uh, partners um, in the world. Um, and, and if you're familiar with Wabasco, 89% of all OEM roof systems are, oh, okay. are Wabasco. Um, the, the folding fabric roof on the on the JLU, that, okay. that's Wabasco. Didn't know. Uh, the, yeah, the, and, and Wabasco actually makes the the uh, top four Ford for the for the Bronco. Um, which just by happenstance, I, my, the newest patents that I received cover the new Bronco top also because the construction is basically the same as the uh, as the Freedom tops. But the only difference between is there's a honeycomb, a honeycomb, little honeycomb right. construction in the in, in the middle of the Bronco top. But uh, yeah, it, it you know it all kind of goes full. Well, full we do circle. have several I, listeners I, I, out there I know that have uh, both a Jeep and a Bronco, so I'm glad you brought this up. So. You can get this same type of uh, setup for your Bronco. I don't know enough about Bronco. Yeah. They, do they have removable panels like uh, like the Jeep do? Yeah. Oh yeah. They 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 tried one up and uh, up in Jeep on that. Uh, they their their layout is is um, it's it's oh, okay. basically Good. the same. Yeah. It, it, was yeah. there any was there any engineering challenges the, that were for the Bronco that were more difficult than the Jeep? No, I actually I um. I was so happy to see it. You know, the the Bronco still the top still fairly utilitarian compared to the to the to the. I would compare the the new Bronco uh, top. It, it's like the mix. It's a, like a mix of of the JL uh, Freedom Top with the JK Freedom Top together, and that's what what uh, Ford did on on the Bronco. But but it's the Bronco is great because it's it's. Um, it, it's 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 squared off it, it's flat um you know we had to do a lot of sculpting it, you know for the aesthetic to make make the top make the panel go into the the jls right. and the jts the the jk the jk was much simpler um the tooling on that for the the j for the jl and the and the, and the jt um it it's it's a fairly it's a fairly it, matter of fact. It's it's a very hard piece to pull properly. I mean, if you know anything about vacuum forming, there's only a few people across a few shops or jobbers across the country that that can you know pull that off. Pardon the pun, <laughs> but they. Um, it's you, a job that to, sucks. I get know, it. Yeah, let's get them all out there. <laughs> well, pulling, pulling, it, pulling it, you know, because you, it's got to be optically right. correct. So that, you know the distortions and whatnot, and and. Um, yeah, but the but no the Bronco the Bronco is much easier because the 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 depth of the top is is not uh, the depth of the top is about two and a half inches the the depth of the top on the on the uh, on the JLs and the JTs and the front sets that are you know you've got yeah, this huge yeah. huge draft you're about five but then it, it then it actually contours up to like six inches in the back so it, it you you know you, you've got a lot of uh, a lot of there's just a lot sure, of sculpting sure. in it. There's a lot of so so in, so. Do you have a time frame on the Bronco when the the availability for the Broncos will will be there? I like to I like to uh, 
under promise and over deliver, but uh, I, I think spring for sure we'll we'll have them out. If not, very cool. And of course, soon. you can just check the the site uh, g tops j e e tops dot com. Well, what we're gonna do we're gonna keep it. Separate. Oh, okay, um, good. I like that. They, uh, the the Bronco people yeah. need to be in a different yeah. area. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, well, one thing that we're starting is it to gonna see be B tops B E E tops. <laughs> I'm getting that domain right now, so you have to buy it from me. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny you say that way because we we actually had to uh, go and and, and oh, buy yeah, a few you different domains yeah. that we were <laughs> we, we were hacking around with because somebody was going to purvey those on us. <laughs> well, as likely. soon as you said the thing about the Bronco top, she knows somebody's going. Oh, I see an opportunity here. All right, so let me get back to the the steps. So you have a, a JK, sure. uh, a JL, uh, a JLU, or a JT. And you want to get these tops in they're, they're, They kind of have a tent to them. The tent is on the inside, so you don't have to worry about it uh, coming wow. off. It's actually cooler. No, it's, it's, it's yeah, yeah, inside the material. The material. Uh, so, not. No, I'm sorry. Yeah. yeah, not on the inside. It's not something that you can scratch or, or, or retent or anything like that. You don't have to. And uh, it, this stuff is is very, uh, very clear, very uh, high quality stuff. You see it on fighter jets and other things. Uh, almost immune to breaking, and uh, you don't have to worry about going topless while you're waiting for your your tops to be processed. Because basically, you guys are going to be cutting a big hole in the the freedom top or the back uh, the, the 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 top the primary top to put these things in. And then once they're in there, uh, you ship it back to them, and they ship theirs, uh, or, or they they've already shipped the the they they either got loaners and they shipped them to you. Uh, theirs to you, and you process them. You get them back, and you send the loaners back. And sometimes there's a deposit, uh, depending on the situation, I guess. And yeah, yeah and slow. how long does it usually take to, for the processing uh, to take place? Once the tops are here, it, it's uh, four days, four or five days. And sometimes the weekend can work to your advantage. Sometimes the weekend will work against you because. It's a four-step process, and the the first thing that gets bonded, encapsulated, is the inner. And uh, it, I, I, layman's, it's right. glued in into it, and that's the, the, the bottom. So you got to let the bottom cure first before you can go and futz with the top of, of it. And and those panels go into a into a gasketed sleeve that we pat, patented. That, and that's um, so the, the the last part of what we do is is we back seal or, or I should say fill this huge cavity around the whole perimeter of the top, and then there's this molding that we had come up with that's really slick. Um, and you got to remember, uh, there, there's so much involved here with um, expansion mm-hmm. and contraction. You 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 you've got to have all this the you you can't have any stressing on that on that even though it's unbreakable material you don't want any stressing right. with that material nor do you want any stressing of the top itself which kind of leads me to this other thing that I don't think we ever touched on this which um m- more than ever now I stress to get people to understand cuz since I talked to you last when the in the covid time when when that crazy panoramic thing was happening and they were taking household glass and i think they're still trying to sell kits here and there which people don't seem to understand you can't just go hacking up tops you have to meet the fmvss which is the federal safety and you know, federal motor vehicle safety standards because all your vehicles are crash tested you know every year they they, they crash test shit i think they, this year they crash test close to 50 wranglers even even though that those the, bastards they, they, <laughs> well, the, well, the DOT, the DOT makes makes them go through this right. rigmarole every year because they still have to validate and whatnot. But what people forget, I mean, they seem to see accessories and things like this, and they have to say, "Oh, you know," the, or, or, or or Joe, the body shop backwoods guy. Oh, I'm just going to make this for it. Whatever. Well, that's all well and good, but the problem being is you have to keep the crash tested specs, and and. When I say the specs, the people, you got to remember all those latching systems. The minute you start changing where the weight of the, t- on the, on the, on the top, you know, like in the case of the, of the, this, the panoramic junk, <laughs> where they were taking household right. glass 
household uh, wasn't laminated. It was just tempered household glass, which has absolutely nothing to do with hardened automotive safety glass. Two entirely right. different things. They, they break differently. Their, their strength, it's all, it's completely different. But then let's say you, you're gluing this weight on, on the top of the top. The top's not designed for that. That you can't just put a whole bunch of weight up on top of it because in a crash, it changes the whole dynamic of, of right. the crash test. So if, if you look at what we did, everything was computer modeled so that the, our panels are within the top. It, it, we actually lightened them by, uh, in, well, the driver's side is about four ounces lighter than, than what we started with. But in a crush test, it's about three times stronger, partly because the material is virtually unbreakable, but but because of all the structure we added to the top and how how it all it, mm -hmm. how it's all constructed, but it's constructed in the mind of, of you have to keep Jeep's crash tested specs. You have to retain all the specs of, of how the latching system and the seals and all that stuff. We don't we don't interfere with any of that. We don't touch it. We, it, it, it was well designed. We're not going to change any of their stuff. But but well, this is this is an important thing that I wanted to point out is because you guys have designed this thing where it's it's safe and you don't have to worry about like what you're saying household glass and so on and so forth so it it meets or exceeds the requirements uh through uh, the dot or that other organization that you mentioned so th it's not just some right it, it, this is a really good product now let's talk about the price here real quick because that's usually what uh people go oh my god about i know i did but i'm cheap so maybe that's that's why so if you had, let's say you had a, um, let's say it's a JLU. I think that's a, a very common uh, new Jeep that's sold today. Uh, what would a, a set of Freedom Tops uh, cost? And I know it depends, but, but generally speaking, what would a set of Freedom Tops cost to get uh, for your JLU? The standard black spatter texture that we, you know, is probably the good majority mm -hmm. of what we do when, when people send their tops in it, the process that we it, it charge them 1265 and, and $1,200 and 60, you know, $1,265. The, but that includes uh, one turn of shipping. I was going to be my next question. Is there shipping on top of this? Well, there's, there's shipping on top. Let's say if you require loaners, Sending out the loaners to you is taken care of, but when you, if you ask for loaners, you're going to have a total of three more turns of shipping, which would be your tops coming back to us, the finished tops going back to you, and then bringing our loaners back to us. So, you know, we, we charge the three additional turns of shipping, but we don't do that till, gotcha. till the end. Um, and let's say somebody is in Chicago, which is, you know, next day for us. You know, you're about thirty-eight oh, okay. bucks each way, which is which is pretty it cheap is. considering you've got a forty-three pound box that is uh, thirty-nine inches long by nine inches wide by thirty-three high. Um, it, 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 we, we and we don't make anything on shipping. Yeah, it, yeah. It's just just we covering pass that the up. cost. So what some, is it? So if somebody some had people, could park their their Jeep in the garage and and be without their tops. What's the what's the time frame? I think you said four or five days. Um, it's it's four to five days to process once here. If you're in Chicago, it'd be the the next day. Um, if you're down in Kansas City, which is a little further, then you get your two days out. Um, uh, just sent a set to a guy in 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 um, Christ. He was Bangor. I think it was Bangor, Maine. Um, he. That that's going to be four days out, but it, if you look at the, the the FedEx or the UPS circles, he should only be three days out. But because he's in the <laughs> sticks, uh, like like we just said, Bellingham last I think it was last week or the week before, Bellingham, Washington, um, Washington State, that guy was out in the sticks, but it, it was four days. So a little, so you, a little you, over a week. Travel uh, it sounds like in most cases. So if you could be without your tops for maybe. Uh, a week to, uh, and I'm, I'm not talking business days here, seven, ten days, you should yeah. be able to not have to worry about a lot of shipping. Oh, yeah. Easy. Um, in, a, in a lot of cases, too, which I was going to allude to, um, we'll, get, we'll get people to say, I, I, want, I want to pack them and send them myself. So we can, we're real good at explaining how to uh, Oh, that's a scary them. to me. I, um, if I was yeah, in your yeah. position, that would just be scary. 
<laughs> no, no, we, we've got. I mean, it, it's not the first rodeo. You got to remember how. How and, and quite quite honestly, it was a customer that came up with the, with this, and we've been we've been suggesting oh, nice. it ever since. And I can't recall any 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 damage, but the a flat a flat screen box, the flat screen kit at sold at Home that. Depot yeah. and Lowe's box slides into a box. It comes with four foam corner pieces, and if you take your take your freedom tops and you bind them together top to top or back to back um, and, and just wrap them together. Um, and you put those corner pieces on each, each end and you can slide into that box and then the box slides into the box. And then there's only, you only have to tape up one side and then we email them a, a, a return tag. And, and so then they only have one turn of shipping to pay for when it goes back. But you know, it's a lot of screwing around. A lot of people request a box right. from us too. They say, I don't need one. Just, just send us out a box. So then we send out a, our, our standard box that, that has two factory uh, boxes in, inside of it, and which makes it simple, stupid for loading because there, there was a bag. You put your, bot, your top freedom, your left, your well, right. I, in the I bag, like the idea that you were just bag. talking about. I didn't know that Lowe's had uh, TV boxes, like flat screen uh, TV boxes. That makes complete sense. So we mentioned the price. Yeah. Uh, what was it, 12, uh, 12 something? Twelve sixty-five, and I, I don't. Jk, Jk, we go. I'm sorry, sixty-five. Eleven sixty-five. So hundred dollars less, and yeah. uh, so if you're looking yeah. at the price, because it, it sounds pricey to me, but I just recently priced. Uh, I forget what it's called, but the the best top fold fold back thing, you know, so you can open up the the top for the the front. It's it's uh, it's over a thousand dollars. And the cramp in the in the in the Mercedes. Uh, the what's a, what do they call it cambria the material the, the um well everybody calls right. it something different but yeah in the higher line material uh fabric uh like you'd see on a mercedes on the on the soft top um yeah it yeah it, they're so, not cheap so this is None right in line and we all like making our jeeps unique and you're not going to get much more unique than having uh these uh sunroof moon, moon roof whatever you want to call it uh, not not your words, my words, uh, on your Jeep. People are going to see that and go, oh, my God, where did you get that? How did you do that? You know? <laughs> well, they, they really complete, they really complete mm -hmm. the top. I mean, it, it, the one thing that, that, that all the customers always say, it's, it's always, you know, why didn't Jeep do this? And and then the other thing they always say, that once, once they have them, they, they'll never be without them. I mean, we've, we've got some military people now that are on their, on their fourth Wrangler, um, that's with neat. our tops, that's te that, know, that's got to feel good that you have a, the repeat customers. Yeah, it, it's, a, it's a hell of a compliment when you know when you, we get these. I mean, and, and it's kind of funny to think that we've been at it that long now, where we've got these repeat mm -hmm. customers that are, um, you know, they're getting a, you know, that is nothing heartbreaking like when they when they call up and go, "Well, I'm I'm getting new JL, my my, you know," and and, and I'm a car guy, you know, so you you you, it, you I. They say, "Well, will my JK top fit on my on my?" <laughs> no, I'm no. sorry, it won't. <laughs> Most recently, now we're, we're so past the JK that um, I get a, a I've, I've had I don't know, I, I can't count how many I've had where where someone had gotten a a, a, a late a late eighteen, or I should say an early eighteen, uh, you know, because that was yeah, where the, the where they they the JL or, or mm -hmm. JLU. And and they're and they're trading it in or 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 they leased it or whatever where they'll ask you well it, it, can I swap can I and yeah swap them with your with your next lease you know take to take sure. it with and um, and and we see a lot of that um, and and we see a lot a lot of them that I had a guy the other day what well, was it the other day it was a few months ago but but I, he he's coming off a lease and I said well why don't you just buy it buy out the lease because his numbers were right. Um, his residual was good. And uh, anyway, it was cool to hear that he, he ended up flipping it. He sold it. And he said, you know what? I was going to take my tops with me to put, put them on the next one. Cause I made money, you know, I made good money on, 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 on selling it, buying it out and selling it. But he says, one of the things that yes, sold I was just going to say, the, the guy was, this is, has to be good for resale value. Had, well, it had yeah. the G tops on it. And he said, the guy, the guy did not. He, he looked around. He didn't. He he had to have G tops. I, I, why? I, why I, I, wait if it's cool. there? The and you know this. This brings me to this. Well, we're well, running out of time here. Uh, we're going long, but this is the problem we have when we have a great interview, a great guest like yourself. 
Uh, but uh, and you can say pass on this, or or even better, I can't answer this. Have have you had any conversations with Jeep? Because this seems like to be a perfect thing uh, for their performance, uh, the Mopar performance area, where you could get these things and they would be in the dealerships that they could uh, they could actually put these things on the Jeeps on the floor and a great sales tool to sell a Jeep because it, it's I mean. You guys have been around for a while, but I don't think these things are, are so prevalent that the people aren't shocked when they see it. Yeah, no, we're, we're starting we're starting to new push again. We'll, we'll just push on out through Milwaukee and down into Chicago again and, and work on the Madison dealers and whatnot where, where we'll be on the showroom floors again. Uh, we, we used to we used to have a real good good penetration. But way back when when I had my issue with Dow Chemical, who I successfully sued and we're waiting to. They got to go to trial with us now, but um, yeah, they, they uh, um, yeah, we, we used to have a great time selling them through the new Jeep dealers. But to, to, to answer your question, no, we didn't. We didn't. Um, when Mike Manley was president of, of Jeep, um, and then he, they, he, he's he's not even in automotive anymore. But then they made him uh, president of FCA. Um, back then, we were we were entertaining doing uh, get the you got to go through a lot of rigmarole to get the Mopar sure. approvals where you, you know, where they, they give you the stamp of approval. And the best way to approach that is, is getting a, a good dealer presence again, and then start doing the, the NADA, you know, where you at the, at the national dealer association show. And, and interesting. And, it, you know. it just seems like a great product well, I, and it, it just well, seems like a no brainer uh, that it would just, just be a natural thing. Well, you know, COVID and and I mean I, I could tell you tell you about hiccups. I mean we've we've had our share of hiccups, but um, we've got some. I think we've twenty twenty four is yeah. going to be a good year. That there's there's a lot of sailing ahead, and and there's getting to be a lot of clarity again on the on the internet. Um, finally, that panoramic thing has been exposed, and and I, I feel bad for it. We get a phone about at least a phone call a week, if not two, of people that went and did oh, that. Now they and, now they want and, something and I was else. Just, I got you. Oh, uh, you mentioned 2024. Uh, I would assume that if you have a new 2024, they're because the, they, they're the, it's a little different uh, than the, the the prior models. But it doesn't doesn't matter doesn't matter for you guys. You 2024 uh, Wranglers, Gladiators, all the same. Out. The build out and the build out on them is right now slated through 2028. Very nice. So, oh, um, I'm, I'm sure you'd love hearing that because that's that you don't have to do any retooling. Well, Chris, I really appreciate yeah. it. I, uh, I'm sorry to cut you off, but uh, we need to wrap this thing up. You know how the kids love the social media. Are you guys on social media, or are you too busy uh, installing uh, glass into uh, or uh, or the plastic things into the tops? <laughs> no, yeah, no, we're uh, uh, Facebook, Facebook, and in in Instagram. Although, and I was just I was just talking with a with an uh, outfit. Uh, even though my daughter's saying TikTok is so easy, uh, <laughs> I was talking. It was they they do a hell yeah. of a TikTok job, so we'll probably get a well, lot Chris, more. Well, Chris, we're old enough also. where we can say TikTok, and that way the kids know that we you know that we're old and we don't get it. So I always call it the TikTok. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. I also don't say I don't, actually I don't say hashtag. I say pound. So if you know if you're mentioning the Jeep Talk Show, we would really refer refer to it like you to re, uh, refer to it as Pound Jeep Talk Show. <laughs> I really yeah, enjoy the yeah. Jeep Talk Show. Yeah. Well, Chris, thank you so much for being here. Yeah. Uh, we'll have to have you back on a lot sooner than uh, gosh, almost two years, uh, and uh, bring us up to date on what's going on with uh, G Tops. That's J E E T O P S dot com. Uh, check them out on Instagram. Uh, I, I didn't get a chance to ask you here on your gallery. Uh, on your uh, your website gtops.com i i don't understand what this girl has to do with uh, with the tops i mean i, I understand tops but not gtops uh but a uh, very attractive young lady and uh, if for no other reason you need to go to the gallery at gtops to, to look at these uh, pictures of these tops she's she does a hell of a job with um demonstrating the tops <laughs> does she stand on top of the jeep and then people can look up <laughs> um Oh, that's funny you say that. One of my sisters actually suggested that uh -huh. back in the day that oh. to do the car wash kind of thing, um, and not not so you know the, the bikini thing. But you know that's that's one thing that's kind of funny about this whole Jeep world. Yet um, 
it, it, it can still be a little bit piggish, but everybody, um, everybody accepts it. You know, it's, it's, uh, Oh, pretty's pretty. Chris, yeah. thank you so much for being with us here tonight and, uh, continued success. I'm glad to hear that you guys are doing really well. I, I always try to comment anytime I see you guys post up on, uh, on Facebook. Uh, I love your product and, uh, I, I'm glad you guys are making it because, uh, uh, you, you, you have put a lot of engineering effort into this. It's not some uh, fly-by-night, let's get uh, a, a sliding glass window, cut it out, and stick it in the top of the Jeep. <laughs> that's, that's, we have a five-year 50. I mean, you know, we not that we ever have any warranty, but we the reason we don't have any, we, that's why we have a five-year 50, because we never have anybody bugging us to fix anything because the stuff yeah, holds sounds up. sounds great. You guys need to check this stuff out. And uh, especially if you have a JK, uh, I mean, you know, the JKs are getting a little old. You want to do something to fancy it up. Uh, you're certainly going to make your Jeep stand out uh, with uh, G tops. Oh, I don't make it yeah. feel like a whole new rig. Yeah. I mean, that that's, that's the most part of it is when when these customers when they get it done and they they call back and they go, oh my god, I I can't believe I've been driving around in the dark this <laughs> long, and this you know, changes oh, the whole dynamic. It gives I mean, you, you that just... open air feel, and that's exactly what you were you you clearly stated that's what you wanted. Uh, without uh, yeah, and of course you don't have to worry about the snow and the rain and the hail and everything else with uh, with this, and you still get that open open air type feel. Chris, thanks a lot for being with us tonight. Hey, thanks again to Chris of G Tops. Visit their website right now, gtops.com. I just love the idea of this whole thing. I, I guess you know sunroofs, moonroofs, whatever you want to call it, uh, is just a, a a swanky thing to have on a vehicle. And, it, and really a, a thing that you don't see on Jeep. So this is, to get one that's so professionally done and uh, on a Jeep, to me, is just makes that Jeep a little more special. Hey, coming up next week, Robert of Fort Hill Distributors, LLC. They make and sell soft shackles. You know, we love hearing from you, listener. Reach out to us via email, phone, or social media. We even use your voicemails on the show. You can actually hear yourself on the show. So call us a voicemail, and we love hearing from you. So until next time, keep on jeeping, and we'll see you on the trails. Oh, and don't forget, uh, Fridays are red. Remember, everyone deployed. Broadcasting since 2010. You're my friend. You're my new friend. <laughs>